Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up the XEMU emulator on Linux. So the XEMU emulator is an original Xbox emulator, which allows you to basically play original Xbox games. And I'll show you the Linux installation. If you're interested in doing this on Mac or Windows, feel free to check out the video I've got covering that. I just want to say, that this video is for educational purposes and I do not condone piracy. The game I'll be trying, which is Halo Combat Evolved, I physically own, plus I have a physical Xbox as well. Okay, so first of all, if you just go to your web browser of choice, go to XEMU and go to the main website, I'll provide a link to everything that you'll need. And I recommend checking out the compatibility list. So that way you can see how compatible a particular game is before you just go ahead and play it. Because there's six different categories. Unknown, there's not enough information on it. It's broken, it gets to the intro, the game starts, it's playable or it's perfect. Perfect is obviously the one you want, but not many games are perfect at the moment. So really you're looking for one of these. And the game that I'll be doing is Halo Combat Evolved, which is currently marked as playable. And this slowly is going up. So I remember not that long ago, this was 48%. Then I saw this was 49%. The playable ones were last week. So the compatibility is increasing. And because it is built on SDL2, it supports literally most game pads they can think of like an xbox a playstation controller you're all good to go and it's cross-platform but you can also do something called system link so not only can you play with other people on the xemu emulator you can even play with real xboxes locally or over the internet which is pretty darn cool okay so what we're going to do is next go to learn more so take you to the github page and don't click the download button here. We don't want to do that. Scroll down to where it has Linux. But before we do that, there's a few things that we need to download. We need the MCPX boot ROM image, the flash ROM image, which is the BIOS, a properly formatted hard disk drive image, and well, again. So the first two, the MCPX boot ROM image, the flash ROM image, basically the BIOS, I will not be providing for legal purposes. So you generally should use your original Xbox and rip it from there. If you have any questions on how to do that, feel free to post in the Discord channel and I'll, you know, I'll assist you with that. And you can always Google it, you know, etc. etc. Again, I'm not condoning that, but you know, there's ways of getting it next you need a properly formatted hard disk drive image so if we open that there's three different options you have option one which use a which is using a pre-built xbox hard drive image which is like 60 odd kilobytes that's the recommended one option two which you will image your real xbox hdd or option three which will build a new hard drive image from scratch unless you really have some particular need to do one of the last two select the first one click this link you'll start downloading and it's really fast. Next, you need a game. So obviously I've already got a game that I've ripped. If you have any questions on how to handle that, feel free to post in the Discord group. There is an XEMU channel so you can post in there and it needs to be in ISO format. So now that we've got all of that, what we wanna do is run these free commands so if you open up terminal you can either do that or you can go to show all applications search for terminal and open that up and literally just i'll say just copy each command to make sure that there's no mistakes made and if i copy that paste it click enter you'll ask you for your password this is the password you would use to log into your linux account so I'm just typing in, nothing will appear, that's fine, it is tracking it, you're just not tracking it, it is, you know, reading it, click enter, it will start, you know, downloading, click enter again, and there we go, depending on, you know, the speed of your internet, it may take longer or quicker. Okay, so next we want to run the next command, which is sudo apt update, and it's a sudo command that makes it asks for the password, but unless you close the terminal down and then reopen it, it won't ask you to do it in that one instance. And now we want to install XEMU now. 
So paste that. And there we go. It's all done. Like I said, because I had already done it, so it's a little quicker for me. You can either launch XEMU by typing XEMU and clicking enter, or if you go to show applications, and it will be over here. So I'll open it this way. Close this down, and I'll close this down as well. And fail to open flash file. That's fine. So you might get some other settings that pop up, and I'll show you which settings I'm talking about. But before that, if you go to where you downloaded all your stuff, so I've got the BIOS right here. I'll be using the non-debug version. I've got the MCPX file here. I'll be using the MCPX underscore 1.0.bin. I've got the game and I've got the hard drive disk image that we downloaded. So we can extract it here and that's it there. So to set it up, go to machine, settings, and just click browse. And for me it's on desktop, and this is the BIOS. Now we do the same thing for the MCPX boot ROM image. And we do the same for the hard disk image file. And the EEPROM is automatically created. You can increase the system memory if you want to. You can also skip the startup animation. I'm going to leave that. Click save and just relaunch the emulator for the save, I mean, for the changes to take effect. There we go, it's launching up the Xbox intro sequence. It was pretty darn cool. Just please insert an Xbox disc, we'll handle that momentarily. The next thing I want to show you is if you go to input, you can you know configure up to four controllers as you could on the original Xbox. If we go to input one, you just click that and we can select keyboard. That's all I've got connected. If you have a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, maybe a third party controller, it'll appear there and just select that. Can't really remap the controls, so that'll just be A, X, B, Y on there, and enter, start, etc. So we just click X on that. And next, you can go to network and configure the network if you want to. I'm not going to enable it because I don't need to. You can set in with what we've already done. You can pause the game. You can reset it, which is like restarting it, shutting down, we'll close the emulator in view. We can change the UI scale. If you want it a little bit bigger, you can change scaling mode. You can make it go full screen if you want as well. And in debug, you can open monitor and you'll get a bunch of information when you launch a game. You can also debug audio as well. And you can also debug video so you can see the frame rate, which is pretty darn cool. What I would also recommend is going to the report compatibility. So this is a great way of helping out the team for free. If you play a game, just report how it was for you and just report the specifications of your computer and the OS that you was running it on. So that way the team gets you know feedback and it's a free way of contributing. So now to launch a game, go to machine, load disk, There it is. And for me, it's right here. Still says, please insert an Xbox disc. Go to machine, reset. As you can see, it has now launched. I'm gonna turn the volume down and I can launch it up. So this is creating the player profile. Go to normal and you know, I can maximize it. I can go to proper full screen right here. If I want to close this down a bit. And there we go, we are in the game now. So I'm going to pause it. So that is how you set up the XEMU emulator on your Linux machine to be able to emulate the original Xbox. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group. There is an XEMU channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.